If you want the explanation for what's going on, if you want to know why all those young people are showing up at those Bernie Sanders rallies and why they're not bothered by the word socialism, why they're not bothered by a discussion of alternatives to the capitalism that they know, it's because they actually see the future a whole lot more clearly than our political and media elites care to discuss. And if you want to know why a 58-year-old man shows up at a Donald Trump rally, somebody who's been laid off from their auto plant job, then retrained to work in a warehouse, then after that, you know, replaced by a robot, is now working over at the Quick Trip or at the gas station, that's why he's there. Now, I know our media will tell you that everybody at a Donald Trump rally is there's something you know, we don't understand them. We don't know why they, they listen to this guy. We don't know why they find anything appealing in him. And, you know, I share that view. I'm no fan of Donald Trump. But the fact of the matter is Donald Trump's slogan is, make America great again. The term again is the operative one in that phrase. He's running around this country promising people to take him back before all these changes took place. Bernie Sanders' slogan is, a future you can believe in. His offer is, there's going to be a lot of change, but at least we're going to try and make it humane. But the fact is, let's move beyond the politicians. Let's move beyond the parties. Let's move beyond our failing media and our failing political systems and understand that these people that are showing up at these rallies, these people that are voting in ways that are destabilizing and shaking up our politics, they're responding to realities that are becoming increasing burdens on their lives. And the only question that Bob McChesney and I have is this. Is this the last election of the 20th century or the first election of the 21st century? That's what we're sorting out right now. And it's really unsettling. And it's really scary. Because times like these can be unsettling and scary. But what we tell you in the book is, that times like these have occurred before. The fact of the matter is, we have been wrenched out of the existences that we know. We have been forced to experience radical, unsettling economic and social change. And we have struggled with it, and it has not been easy, but we have seen our way through.